Thank you so much, Raul. Um, yeah, so th uh, thanks a lot for letting me present the results and outlook of the AP Working Group of the last and next year. So one of the things we worked a lot on is the surveillance guidelines, the last iteration of which have been, I think, published uh, under an interim label in 2017. And there have been quite some developments since then. Uh, among others, we introduced the use of RDTs routinely, uh, RDTs for detecting outbreaks more quickly, and RDTs for having a constant signal of how many real cholera cases do we do we have uh, using uh, yeah using RDTs routinely. That's one of the novelties in the in the new surveillance guidelines. Um, then, of course, there is a uh, data to be reported in the country and how every country organizes its re its reporting is different. But then we have worked on a data set that could, if countries would, would like to share with the, the global community to globally monitor uh, how, how, uh, how uh, cholera develops. So I think you, you, answer, you asked that question to Philippe before. There is a global recommendation of what should be reported. It's not reported to the GTFCC and not to the technical working group, but through the usual WHO mechanisms. Um, but yeah, that that uh, that uh, data set exists. And thanks a lot to to Kristen and to Alexandra for leading these two work streams. Um, and we have uh, the priority areas for interventions, which are the the areas which the NCP, the National Cholera Control Plan, uh, is targeted to and uh, targets its intervention to. Um, so the, these uh, priority, the, the new method, how to identify these uh, priority areas, now including new indicators such as testing and such as mortality as well, um, has been updated. And thanks a lot to Elizabeth, I don't know where she's sitting, for, for leading that work. Um, so this guideline has been updated. Um, in the next year, so the surveillance guidelines, we have gone quite qu quickly at the beginning of this year because there was the, there was the global cholera surge and the IMST, so we wanted to have the surveillance guidelines out, and we're now getting a lot of feedback about it, and that should be included, and we're going to go to a final version within the next, within the next year of, uh, of work. Um, and we also want to see how it can be implemented and how we can we can pilot it and support countries to to use it. Um, and for the for the priority areas, there is priority areas for on uh, on um, how to identify cholera areas, cholera affected areas in countries that are close to elimination. That works a bit differently from uh, the countries that have a bit more cholera still. Um, and that is uh, that is the guideline to be developed during the next months and years. Um, and then, all across these uh, these tools, we want to include countries and country stakeholders and the people, the feedback from the countries better. So, of course, we are a technical working group, but 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 uh, all that we recommend should be usable and used by countries, and we need your feedback to make it work, to make it happen, to make it realistic. Um, and we we also want to help uh, countries pilot our guidelines and then have this process of renewing it and getting it uh, to you and getting your feedback, improving and so on. Um, that's already everything from my side. Thanks a lot, Morgan, who behind all of this <laughs> is probably the person who spent the most time and the most sweat on uh, on behind these documents so thanks a lot